I'm doing this video strictly for posterity. Um, if I do wind up sharing this with you, something's obviously happened. It's I either got something within the prelude or got an excellent draw later. So if you're seeing this and wondering why, say to yourself, what exactly am I waiting for? I'm only going to delete this if I get an epic in the block top reward section. But if I get a legendary star or playoff, you'll definitely see it. Um, if I get anything good in the prelude to it, you will see it. One way or the other, if I get something in the prelude or in the black top challenge portion, you will see it and you will know. If you're not seeing this, then I'm basically talking to myself. But without any further ado, I just played a black top challenge. Got 72 cards to pull. I'm gonna go through those and then see what my black top reward will be. Here we go. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this as a regular video with music and intro and outro or what. I may just throw it up for posterity purposes, but we shall see what we shall see. So right now I'm still hoping to get cards for the playoff showdown contest that's going on. Yet to get a point guard to help me out with that. So in all likelihood I may not even be able to enter the contest at all. So we shall see. We shall see. See where the luck brings us, takes us. I'm getting more super rares and ultra rares than anything. And some rares. I haven't seen any epics in a while or legendaries. Just seeing mostly and also commons and uncommons and other stuff. Just hoping things come my way. Ultra rare. Hope you're doing pretty well on the road to championship if you're playing it. Hope you'll get the card that you want. Myself, like I said before, I pretty much don't have the time this weekend or the finances to go for the Magic Johnson card as much as I want to. So I'll have to live vicariously through those of you who do. Whoa, what was that? star card let's <laughs> need to check and see what that was kind of going flippy fast here so, so, so. veteran contract oh yeah let's see what kind of card we got here hoping it's a point guard I don't think it is though if I caught it real quickly so I got Small Ford Kobe Leonard, so can't complain with that. He's a good card on my when it comes to the All Star, so definitely pleased to get that one. But before we get into the Black Top Reward, definitely want to reset the board real quick. I'm gonna do that. Fastest way to do that is gonna be through here. Might as well work on getting. Getting a little bit closer. Odds are, I'm pro odds are this will probably be the only card that I get. Only top tier card. Oh yeah, I'm pleased. I, I finally got a star card after a while. I was hoping it would be a point guard, but can't complain because I got a good card nonetheless. Although my deck is starting to shape up to be more in terms of higher end all stars or or playoff cards. So I might fill it up and throw it into the auction house. So if you're seeing this and want to get him, then you're going to want to definitely jump in there to lay a claim on it. I think I might fully train it. Although sometimes, sometimes like fully trained ones tend to not move. Although at the same vein, um, empty cards seem to not move either. It just depends on the, on the card and the superstar. Now that I think about it, I think I will fill them up. Throw them in the auction house. 
have a 24 hour time frame on it give you guys more of a chance to go for it and get it and fun with it but yeah if you see this video then you know something happened if you don't see it then basically I'm in a conversation with myself Before I get into the blacktop challenge reward, I'll show you what my deck looks like really quick. So, so, so. Now think about it, I think I might share this video with you because there's something interesting that that I found out in a season that I'm in. And I think it's the only season that I really don't have to pay much attention to it beyond other seasons that I've ever been in. And you'll see why in a moment. I guess I do have something to share with you. If I decide to if I decide to share this video at all. So hopefully this resets the board so I can jump to getting the reward. Uh, nothing. So, let's get into my cards real quick. And I happen to really remember them by face. So, pretty much having to go through all of them. <laughs> Yeah, good practice to lock a card so that when the time comes, you have it there and ready. Yeah, let me, t let me take a let me show you what my lineup looks so looks like so far. At point guard, point guard, I have a Stephen Curry and the shooting guard slot. So we're gonna smart see online. What's the Elise? How do you pronounce that? Forgive me for that. In the small forward category, we have Harrison Barnes. In the point forward, we have Dirk Nowinski. And newly to the lineup is an all-star Joaquim Noah. I just won him from the from the season rewards. So he's doing pretty well. And also have star ones don't have any playoff supports yet. And talking about season, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll you'll notice that I mentioned that. Yes, Matt, so let me let me show you. Right now I'm two to one, only because I really didn't pay attention to upping, and when I look at this, it's not really necessary. But out of 30 people in this in this season, I am the only human in it. Everyone else is just bots. All of them. I'm the only. I'm the only actual person in this thing. And you could tell if they're bots if they're not on a team and they show zero wins and zero losses. That's how you could tell if they have any wins, any losses. If they're on a team, then they're a player. But if they have zero wins, zero losses with this car lineup, they're bots. So out of like I said, out of 30 participants in this. I am the only human. So basically, if I don't get first, it means I fell asleep or died. Hoping the left hoping twenty doesn't happen, but but I should definitely get the championship reign there. Hopefully my quest for the Magic Johnson record setter card is met. If not, we'll just keep going. 
just keep striving. I'm also hoping somewhere down the line I'm able to get I'm able to get a pack that has a Magic Johnson Greats card. So Magic Johnson Record Setter is a definite reachable. The Magic Johnson Greats card, not a hundred percent sure about that, but would definitely love either one to enhance my deck. So and add to it, make it as my default, be thrilled with it, and enjoy it spectacularly. Going to get into the black top challenge once again. The 0.5 percent, 0.5 percent challenge. So 5 percent chance I don't get anything, but we shall see. What we shall see. So we're going to do that. Do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. And since I don't have a basketball but have enough credits, we are going to go, just go ahead and redeem 500 credits. Like I said, if this comes up as an epic, you probably won't see this. If this comes up as legendary or anything higher, then you definitely will. So we are just going to pick a card. Let's see? Flashy thing and add an epic favors. Okay. The funny thing is, I. I actually have I actually have a card, so this actually works. So you might see the same way because then this gives me a a pro. I'm not sure how it's going to fit in my overall deck, considering that considering it's pretty stacked. But you never know. I mean, sometimes that may be just enough. Because I mean, with the with the stats recently. Bumps it up into really crazy ranges. Uh, this is the one that I got from my previous one. I haven't done any specialized upgrades on it yet, but you can see the comparison between him and the next highest being Stockton. Quite a difference between the two. That's going to wrap it up for this segment today. You may or may not see this depending on my mood. And again, based on the fact that I got a favors and I'm able to make a pro out of it, then you'll definitely see this and you'll probably and you'll learn some things as well. So, for Albert Gurdy, for second thought, someone decided someone had asked me, or we had a discussion about names, what will make me stand out. So from this point forward, if I could remember it, I'm gonna be calling myself double A. It's an inside joke. I was a wrestling, I am a wrestling fan. And as a creator wrestler, I came up with the name of Albert Armageddon. And what happened is I used that for the bulletin board for the wrestling federation that I did ring announcing for. So what happened, this is beyond basketball, but just, just something that I'm throwing out there for you. But I used it on the boards because everyone had, everyone else had a wrestling type name. Day that I did my ring announcing debut, I'm, I thought about getting into the ring, saying my real name, and basically going on from there. But we are, we were the type that had commentators at ringside for purpose of for purpose of video recording. So when they decided to throw it up to me, and I didn't know they were going to throw it up to me, they said, "And here we have Albert Armageddon." And I'm like at that point, it's like, okay, I'm guessing this sticks. So, even though my name is Albert Curry in real life, from now on, if I can remember, I'm going to be referring to myself as Double A. So, for Double A, this is my NBA 2K video for you for the date of May the 14th. Yeah, you guys have a good day. Keep shooting for the for the prize and road to championship. Hope your hope your teams make it to the playoffs. And next time I come at you. Well, not be tomorrow. I can guarantee you that one. The next time I come at you will be Monday. So until then, talk to you later. Bye for now.